Next, we'll try the second equation, 2x plus y equals 12, and try checking our ordered pair in that one. So here's our equation with the t format below it, 2x plus y equals 12. That means we have 2 times the x number plus the y number on the left, 12 on the right. We'll fill in our x number, which is negative 5. We'll fill in our y number, which is 1. And we have 2 times negative 5 plus 1. That gives us negative 10 plus 1. 12 on the right. Negative 10 plus 1 is negative 9. On the right, we have 12. No, that does not work. And so, negative 5, 1 is not a solution of our system. The answer to the original question is this ordered pair solution. No, it is not. Let me give you an exercise to try. Just a single exercise. Is 4, negative 6 a solution of the system 2x plus y equals 2 3x minus 2y equals 24. Copy this exercise, stop the tape and work it, then turn the tape back on to check your answer. Your answer should be yes. The order pair I gave you is a solution of the system. Our second objective is the major topic of this tape, and that is to solve a system of equations by graphing. I'm going to give you a procedure to follow for solving a system of equations by graphing. Let's take a look at it. The procedure to solve a system of equations by graphing. Step one, graph the first equation. Graph the first equation. This is where it's important for you to know how to graph. Step two, on the same coordinate system, graph the second equation. On the same coordinate system, graph the second equation. This means the second graph will be drawn right on top of the first graph on the same coordinate system. Step three, the solution is the point or points of intersection. The solution is the point or points of intersection. This means that we have now solved the system of equations. The solution is the point or points of intersection. All you have to do is read the point or points of intersection off the graph. That, by the way, is why it's so important that you draw accurate graphs. Step four, check in both equations. That's what we've just been doing. Check the solution you find in both equations. So we have to do three things to find the solution. We have to graph the first equation. We have to graph the second equation. Then we must read the solution off the graph. Our fourth thing is to check. And of course, it's always smart to check. Let's take a look at an example. Let's solve by graphing. Our example is 2x minus y equals 1. 2x minus y equals 1. And then 
4x plus 2y equals negative 10. 4x plus 2y equals negative 10. Well, our first step is to graph the first equation, 2x minus y equals 1. Remember that to graph an equation, we need to get y by itself. And so we'll begin by solving this equation for y. To get y by itself, we must remove the 2x from the left-hand side. That means we would subtract 2x from both sides. And we get 2x minus y minus 2x equals minus 2x plus 1. So we subtract 2x from both sides. <clears throat> then we have minus y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. Minus y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. We're solving for y. That means we must get y by itself. The understood coefficient of y is negative 1, so we divide both sides by negative 1. This gives us on the left y, and on the right negative 2x divided by negative 1, which is 2x, and positive 1 divided by negative 1, which is negative 1. So we have y equals 2x minus 1. This gives us a convenient form to use for graphing, y equals 2x minus 1. We make a table of values for this and we choose x values to go into the table of values. The numbers that I have chosen for x are negative 1, 0, and 1. Negative 1, 0, and 1. So let's find the y values to go with each of these. If x is negative 1, then y is 2 times negative 1, subtract 1. Remember, we're filling in negative 1 in place of x, and so this gives us negative 2 subtract 1, which is negative 3. And so the point is negative 1, negative 3. <laughs> filling in 0 for x, we have y equals 2 times 0 subtract 1, which is 0 subtract 1, and that's negative 1. So when x is 0, the y works out to be negative 1. Then when x is 1, we fill in 1 in place of x in our equation, and we get y equals 2 times 1 subtract 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 subtract 1 is 1. And so we get the y value of 1. That means that our ordered pairs are negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 1, and 1, 1. Now let's get some graph paper, and we'll graph these three points, which will allow us to graph the line. So graphing y equals 2x minus 1, we have, let me slide this over a bit so I can draw my graph easily, an x-axis, a y-axis, and then I'm going to graph these accurately. x is negative 1, y is negative 3 for the first point, so to the left 1, down 3, there's a dot. Next we have 0, negative 1, which means 0 horizontally, and then down 1. And then 1, 1, which means to the right 1 and up 1. Two points determine the line, a third point checks. These do line up. And so I'll try to draw this as accurately as I possibly can. I'm using a heavy ink to draw this so that it will come through on the tape. You should use a nice sharp pencil when you draw your graph, which is what I do when I'm not drawing it for a video camera. A nice sharp pencil so that you can tell exactly where the line lies. Be sure that the line is drawn accurately. For the other equation, which we must graph on the same coordinate system, so I'll set this aside and then bring it back when I get ready to graph the second equation. The second equation is 4x plus 2y equals negative 10. 